Hello, oh, Lionel, I've come to give you a hand with your wash. Lionel? Lionel, wake up for me. Can I have a hand in here, please? Hi there, Lionel seems to have collapsed. I'm just going to give him a check. Can you wait with me for a moment yes. while I do that? He's not breathing, there's no signs of life. Can you put the cardiac arrest call out and bring okay. the recess equipment for me, please? Cardiac arrest, Ritter Ward, C450. I've got the trolley. On approaching the patient, check that it is safe to approach. Next thing is to see if the patient will respond to your voice. See if they will respond to a painful stimuli such as tapping the shoulders. If the patient is unresponsive, summon help at this point. If help arrives, get them to wait with you while you assess the patient. Open the patient's airway using a head tilt and chin lift as in the image shown. If the patient is not breathing normally and there are no signs of life, send your assistant to go and get the cardiac arrest team. Cardiac arrest, Ritter Ward, C450. And commence chest compressions on the patient in the centre of the patient's chest, as in the image shown. Our priority at this point is to get chest compressions and defibrillation to the patient. As soon as the defibrillator arrives, pads should be placed upon the patient's chest as shown in the image. This can be done while chest compressions are ongoing. If a third person is available, they can provide assisted ventilation during this time frame. As soon as the pads are applied to the patient's chest, and the defibrillator is switched to AED mode, switch the defib one click anti-clockwise to AED on as shown in the image. The fibrillator will tell you that it is analysing the rhythm. If shock is advised, check that all personnel are clear of the patient and oxygen is one metre away before pushing the orange shock button as shown in the image. We'll then recommence chest compressions and ventilation. Ratio is 30 chest compressions to two rescue breaths. Ultimate practice is to use a two-handed technique to hold the mask on the patient's face as shown in the image. This ensures that one person does the chest compressions and ventilates in the in-between phases. 
chest compressions and ventilation will be continued for two minutes until the defibrillator reanalyzes. Analyzing heart rhythm. Everyone's Do not going touch clear. the patient. No shock advised. Pause. If needed, begin CPR. No signs of life. 